Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Wandering Village. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and I think we're going to go south. East. Southeast. Now, the reason for that, there's some tasty looking stones up here, which have just come into view. And I'm really hoping that this ocean, as it seems to go this way a little bit, maybe we'll hit an ocean over here. I think it would be great if we actually did hit an ocean, if we were able to get some sand, get some fish, then we could open up our fishery because we have not been able to actually use our aqua farm yet. Now, speaking of aqua farm, we should also choose the plots that you're allowed to use for that. There they are. However, we haven't been able to use this yet. We haven't been able to use any of these things for quite some time. It would be great to be getting some more food types. Now, last episode, we did put in our survival monument. It's not built yet, of course, because that's quite the big thing to put in. And we have no glass. The iron's not a problem. It's just going to take a while for them to smelt the iron ore into iron blocks. But the glass, there's no sand. We don't have any sand. We really need our scavenger huts to go find some, but we need to be in a desert for that. We did get also last episode, our scout tower built and another one of our scavenger huts. So we've got four on the go now and we can see a huge, huge distance. Ooh, there's a ruined settlement over there. We never know what you're gonna find in a ruined settlement. So let's make sure we send our people over there. Ideally some more villagers. I mean, we currently have 66 total people, which is amazing and 68 total housing. So we do have room for a few more. And we are in the process of building some cottages. So we're finally getting that upgrade. No more huts for us, no siree. Let's get these cottages put in, possibly around the survival monument because when I mean, we could try to put in a few more, they'll take a little while, of course, to go in. But we do want to get people out of the huts and into the cottages kind of as quick as we can. That will take a while because we don't have any sand. We really need to find a desert. Look, there's desert there. There's desert down here. Come on, let us find it. That's all we want. Now, having the four scavenging parties should really mean great things for how many resources we're able to find out and about. We just need to hit the right biomes to find the things that we're really looking for. Anbu is getting kind of hungry again. We could open this up to feed him. Just need to take someone from there. Someone come from here. We are actually out of mushrooms again anyways. Although we've actually got quite a bit of food balls stored up. So maybe we close the kitchen all together and you come work in here. While we've got kind of the best biome for growing mushrooms, perhaps that's a good idea. Because we're not going to have the best biome for growing mushrooms forever. Okay, so I'm put back about 15 wood. Let's head them off here. That's quite far away. Two days away. All right. And we should be able to feed on Boo. You guys are in position. So let's give you some food. And it looks like we need two antidotes to be sent off as well. Because he is at 42% poison level. 27% hunger. And since we're mentioning 27% hunger, about 27% of you who watch this video are subscribed, which means the rest of you are not. So please hit the subscribe button if you feel like you've been enjoying these videos because it would really, really help me out. Thank you so much. Right, they're back. We could send them off to go pet Ombu as well. And oh, actually they need two antidotes, but we have to wait for that first one to settle in before we can set another one. There he's got his food, give him some pets. And then when they're back from petting, he can have, and oh, he's so happy. His tongue sticks out and it wags around. It's so sweet. Oh, the granary has been researched as well. So we could be putting that in. So we've got a place to store food. I don't know if we need it though. I've got the pantries. I don't know if they're very full. The beets, there's always been tons of beets, but not so many that we can't put them somewhere. We could pass on the granary. It does cost five iron and a lot of wood planks, right? This is a nice sleeping spot for Anbu. So he is going to sleep. We do need to give him another antidote because he's at 23% and we can close off the feeding trebuchet for now. Okay, I think we can close this off now as well. The Anbu doctor is done. These have max number of workers in them. These don't. All right, we've got one scavenging party, I think, available. One day, 10 hours. That's quite far away, really. Oh, and what's this? A decision to be made. As soon as your scavengers step into the mine, the ground starts to shake. Now, last time we looked for a way out, they picked up a couple rocks. Maybe they should find the iron ore. <gasps> a worker has died. After running in circles, the group gets demoralized and decides to split up. Hours later, all but one of them meet up on the other side of the collapsed engine and they just left them. Natasia died on a mission. Oh no, oh dear, okay. That brings up, I think our total for this game to five workers who we've lost, which is very sad. Oh, another cottage has been built. 
Down to 65 total people, though. Everyone's just running around. They've got places to be and things to do. Anbu has woken up. So he's looking really healthy. 100% health, 3% poison, 11% hunger, and 0% sleepy. All very good. Now, we can get him to run through that poison for us as we get up to it or not. We've got a party to send out. Anbu is looking very happy. He's wagging his tail. Oh, it's so good to see how happy he is. Ooh, and then the elderly woman. Every building here looks completely devastated with one exception. There's smoke coming into the chimney of an old barricaded mansion. Your scavengers open the door and find an elderly woman in a rocker chair armed with a crossbow. We should offer her some food to show we come in peace. Try to sneak past and steal some of her resources or let her be in scavenger surroundings. Let's offer her some food. Show her we come in peace. We've got 20 bread. Wow. The old woman ignores the gifts and points her crossbow at the scavengers, whereupon they make a run for it. As soon as they're a safe distance, acquaintances of the old lady approach the group. They explain how she turned mad if the village was attacked. Since then, living here has been a nightmare, and they asked to join us. Plus five hungry people. We did, of course, lose the 20 bread, but that's okay. That is very good. Although, yeah, our housing is getting close with the number of villagers we have now, because we've got 70 villagers here. We are getting close to 100, which is pretty cool. Now, we can't get any of these built, though, because we don't have the glass for them, which is getting a bit exhausting. We just desperately need to find... Oh, there's more villagers on the road up here as well. We need to find some piles of sand. All right, let's send some scavenger parties out to these kind of closer buildings. I'm hoping we find some sand sooner rather than later, but who knows? Sand and iron can be very hard to come by. Now, we've been quite lucky with the, our iron ore this run. Speaking of run... We may need to get our on to run past this. We'll definitely need to get some decontaminators going again. Oh, but we've got the uh, spare employees because, of course, we just found a whole bunch of people. We've got our doctors already ready to go. These are both full. Scavenger party returned with an expedition. They are, oh, five people want to join a village, but we are now in this poisonous biome. Not great. Oh, we've got another decision to make coming up. Come on, look at all this sand. Where is... The sand we can actually go and harvest. That's what I want. Right, let's take a look. We should have poisonous things on Anbu's back that are going to need to be dealt with. Hopefully our decontaminators are just on it because they usually are pretty good. I don't even see any. Oh, there's one. Come get that one. Quick. Oh, there's one hiding behind this tree. Another one down here. Oh, and a decision to be made. Ah, uh, we're back at the collapse mine. We better not uh, split up this time. After a long walk through the maze of tunnels, the party is almost out of energy. Suddenly, a light shimmers through the roof. They can see the clear blue sky, but that's not all. A ray of light points them directly to a shiny object. They get 12 iron ore and 6 knowledge. That's amazing. Right, we've got quite a lot of things happening. We've got some people come back with 12 heal shrooms, but two got poisoned. The 12 iron ore, of course, and the 6 knowledge, and the 11 heal shrooms, but they got poisoned as well. I think we can start sending them out again. They'll go when they're ready. Where is the sand piles? Oh my goodness going to be one of those, isn't it? Right, Anbu is just about out. Our decontaminators are on it. So, just need to make sure they go and actually get those, but they should be good. Oh, there's one really close to things here. And this, these are both very close. Like, that is in our mushroom area. We need to make sure that does not spread. But, between our workers punching them to death, we should be okay. Party's brought back a three knowledge. Another one's brought back 24 salt. The amount of salt we're getting is kind of incredible. Oh, there's a dune. A dune and we can go into a desert and there's two sets of poison nobads here which is fantastic news as Ombu gets closer to making that decision i think we'll just keep time ticking on at a good clip sculpting has now been researched and now they're working on food stand sculpting means we've got a whole lot of new decorations so we've got the brick arch the stone arch the Ombu lantern and the Ombu statue now, everything but the lantern takes sand, so we're not going to be able to build those. But we could build an Anbu lantern. But none of these buildings at the moment need any more decoration. They are already at max. But these ones down here are not, so we could put an Anbu lantern down here. That would cover those three houses. Now, these three houses aren't necessarily going to stay, though, because they are huts, not cottages. Now, it looks like our decontaminators have run out of things to do. Let's close that to all but one. We'll keep one decontaminator for now, just to make sure we're good. And this is actually even completely full. And it looks like we are good because he's just standing there. So let's close that up. Let's get that ready for next time. And that should give us five new workers who need something to do. 
Oh, we're up to 22% efficiency here at our berry gatherer hut, which is great. We do not get enough berries in though to make berry muesli regularly. I wonder if another berry gatherer hut somewhere like over here where there's getting to be a few more berries would be helpful. What's the efficiency there? 22% there. It's 27% there, but we can't put one there. Oh, it's 27% up here as well. Why don't we do that then? Let's put in another berry hut and then we could have another couple of villagers working on that to make sure that we do have enough berries to continue making berry muesli because we do need the food variety. And that has been a bit of a struggle because we've been basically just stuck in a forest biome for quite some time now. We do have a party available. Let's send them over to that forest. It's very close by. Oh, and it looks like either direction we go, we're going to be hitting a desert, which is great. And the sleeping spot doesn't actually matter in a desert, of course, because there's no poison there. Oh, we are in a poisonous area. We're going through this, which is annoying. And we've got the toxic things on the back again, which is a bit annoying, but we can open up the decontaminators, I suppose. We've got four workers heading straight into those. Two parties are back, 13 mushrooms and three knowledge, so we can send those out again. That one's nice and close. Nothing else is particularly near, but we'll go down there, I guess, poison forest. We have to get a whole bunch more nomads. There's also a ruined settlement down here, which is exciting. Love finding all of those things. Okay, quite a lot of stuff on the back again. We're going to need to make sure we clear those all up. And our decontaminators are working hard, I hope. Oh, no, our berry bushes got down here, got poisoned. Not that we needed those ones anyways, but still not ideal. It's quite a lot, quite a lot of stuff in that little poison cloud that Oh no, it's so close to our wheat. Although I think they are having storage problems from the wheat. They are not putting that anywhere. What's the pantry looking like? Completely full. That one's also completely full. Maybe we do need to get the granary going in. Oh no, there's a lot of this. Right, I hope our decontaminators are out working hard. We do have five, so they should be going. Scavenging party's come back with 10 stone. We're about to hit those people. We're going to need to decide which direction we want to go. Ooh, and our Hanbu is getting pretty hungry again, and his poison levels are fairly high as well, so we're going to need to open these up. But we're about to hit some new workers, so as soon as we grab them... Here we go. Pick the poison nomads up. Three people, which is exactly how many people we needed to come work in these two jobs, so hopefully they go and do that. Now, there's the option to be made. If we went south, we would avoid this storm, but we would also miss those people, so I think we definitely need to go north. I think Obu's okay with that. We want to get the people, as many people as we can. I'd like to hit a hundred people. I think that could be quite fun. We've never had such a high population, and I feel like this could be our chance. Party's brought back 12 wood. Let's get this ruined settlement. It's quite far away, especially since we're going to be turning away from it, but it's always good to hit those if you can. Okay, have they managed to clear up everything on Anbu's back? Let's take a look around. No, there's still one here, but are you coming to get that? Good. Punch it. Punch it real good. Right, they got those two by there. All the way down. Okay, these two still over here, but you're coming to get one of them. Hopefully someone else is coming to get the other one. Got those ones. Ooh, this berry gatherer hut is up and ready. It needs a worker though. All right, Anbu's getting very tired. Oh, they brought back 31 sand, so we could open up our last blower again. We don't currently have anyone to work there, but we will soon. Let's go to that dune. Go get more sand, would you? That's what we really need, is all the sand we can get our hands on. Anbu's very tired. I would have liked him, have, him to have gotten to this desert before sleeping, but I don't think we're going to be that lucky. Let's give him an antidote and some food, because he needs both. He's going to want to sleep soon. As long as he doesn't sleep in the light sandstorm, we're all good. All of these places we're trying to get people to go are so far away. They're taking ages to scavenge these, but there are some really good places out here. So there is a shrine over on this little island that we can't even see. But just when you hover your mouse over the edge, you can see it. Oh, there's a tune over there, which we obviously want to get as well. Day 106 and Anbu is looking pretty good. Ooh, and our research, all the research we queued up is now done. I think we're kind of at a point now where we just need to be doing stuff. Ooh, let's get artistry. We've never gotten that one before. And let's get community plaza. Maybe some stone roads could be good. I mean, we could just try to get all the research done and see how that goes. Let's get some, I don't know, what should we get? The tree nursery? I don't think I've ever gotten the tree nursery or the forester before. Not that I've ever really needed it either though. Some filling on boo food. The laboratory. I think we're gonna need more knowledge though. You guys are done again, so we can close that off. Now that we have so many people, 
73 villagers. Oh, we don't even have enough housing for them again. What we really need, I think, is maybe even another doctor. For when the times get real tough, I think having another village doctor is going to be helpful to make sure that we are keeping our people as healthy as possible. We need to just put it down here, I think. Because we are getting a huge number of people. And that means it's going to drain more of our resources. The food's going to be more heavily drained. But also, like, the doctors are going to be a lot busier when we go through poison places like we just did. Right. The ground toxicity obviously is quite bad. We don't really want Anbu sleeping for too long here. We want him to wake up. I think 40% is good. Anbu can go back to walking. Because being on the ground means the poison is high. We need the poison not to be high. And he can sleep there, so... By the time he gets there, he'll be at 100% again. He'll be really tired, so... Wake up, go that way, and then you can sleep over there. Ombu could almost use some new more food, but not quite yet. I will just wait, I think. Actually, no, by the time you actually feed him, it'll be nearly 20%, so go for it. Now, my concern is we've got one villager currently who doesn't have a house at all, so we definitely need to be building more cottages, which is fine, because actually, is, do we have someone working in the glass hut now? Yes. And the glass is being processed, so we should be able to get one of these houses built. All of them are basically ready. So let's just prioritize one of those. The villager doctor has been constructed. Now, yeah, we do have quite a few poison people, so let's keep that there. Ooh, a group of settlers we found. Yes, we want to pick them up. And two hungry people have joined us, which is great. We've got two parties available to be sent out again. Let's go get these dunes just to make sure that we manage to get them, especially since we've turned this way. And now we've got three people who are without a house. And our total productivity is definitely going down. I think the easiest one to solve is going to be decoration. We have enough stone and wood that we could even put down the cheap decorations and still have them built in time to get this to being maxed. Although we, oh, I mean, we could just build a ton of Anbu lanterns also. If we did three Anbu lanterns, I think that's enough for everybody. Yeah, let's do that. Three Anbu lanterns in a row. What about you guys? You guys are... You'll be maxed once this is built. You guys are not maxed, though. But also, I don't think you're going to stay. As soon as we get these cottages built, we'll get rid of these ones and put cottages in here. Anbu's wagging his tail. We found some poison nomads. Let's pick them up as well. Two poison people have joined us, which is great. Now, as far as dodging this goes, we might just have Anbu sleep kind of on the edge here and let it go by. He is kind of tired. By the time he gets... It's going to be a close call. We're probably going to hit it exactly because that's usually what happens. Scavenging party has brought back 26 sand, which is great news. That one's being scavenged. We could go over here or why don't you come get the shrine? That's pretty close by, actually. My big concern at the moment is this thunderstorm. Oh, there's another one up there as well. Oh, man. OK, it's going to be a close call. I think let's get Anbu to lie down. I was hoping he'd be in the desert, like he's close enough to the border that it wouldn't be the poison, but I think it's okay. The ground toxicity is going to go up to being high for a minute. But we just need the guest to go past. As soon as it's past, we can get up and keep going. We are already out of sand and glass again as well. Good thing we're going into a desert. Hopefully we can find lots and lots of dunes. Okay, sandstorm is going by. Anbu, go back to walking. And we should be good, hopefully. A cottage has been constructed, which is great. Now only one person is homeless. So we're getting closer. We're definitely getting closer. Anbu is walking. Hopefully he makes it. But he's entered a desert now, which means we're not going to be getting... Well, none of these things are going to be working anymore. So tomatoes are... Corn's the best. We want to switch these to corn. And one of these needs to be switched to cactus. The wheat, I feel like we could keep that. Or let's maybe make it corn as well for a while. And then the mushrooms, they're not going to grow as well, but they're still growing. And there's something else we can change them to, so. Oh, and of course, we can also close these. They're not going to be doing anything. So the air wells can be closed. Okay, that is now coming back. I think we may need to get Anbu to run because the storm is already turning around and Anbu's only halfway through. Go, Anbu, go. He's pretty tired, but he's going to sleep there right now anyway, so it's absolutely fine. And he's exhausted. Go back to walking on Boo. Look, he's so tired. The little tongue is hanging out. Actually, he's so exhausted. He has taken a tiny bit of damage, which is not great. But it does happen. And he's going to sleep and he's going to heal back up again. It will be all right. 
Oh, he's not sleeping on the comfy spot. He's sleeping right next to the comfy spot, but that's okay. Uh, pretty typical. It uses up so much sand to be able to make a piece of glass. Seven sand each. We need way more. Ooh, but artistry has been built. So what does that mean we can build now? <gasps> a wonder tree and a pavilion. Ooh, a wonder tree needs a tree sapling. Ten tree saplings, actually. We do not have tree saplings because we haven't, we haven't researched that yet. But it is on the list of things for us to start working on. And the pavilion. <gasps> the pavilion is so lovely. Oh, and it has a... It's actually really large as well. It is really large. Where would we even put that? I guess nowhere for now because we don't have any sand. Or iron. Well, we were working on both of those things, though. All right. And as things tick along, I'm really excited about artistry. I think we're going to be able to make quite a beautiful little village on Anbu's back here. But we are out of video time for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you believe this video deserved a like, please do hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more Wandering Village. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.